You are viewing a Google map with an overlay which is shown with red lines. It shows the location of the tunnels of the second Waterloo coal seam at Arkwright Colliery. You can also see some of the tunnels of the black shale seam running from Kalo Colliery which was connected to the top hard seam and first Waterloo seam. Most of the tunnels are marked with the year the tunnel was dug. Arkwright Colliery was sunk at Arkwright Town south of Long Duckmanton in 1898. The two original mine drifts were at nearby Kalo and were 1,400 yards to the east of Arkwright surface. They were sunk to the top hard seam between 1897 and 1988 as Kalo Colliery by the Staveley Coal and Iron Company. A total of five drifts served the colliery, one was driven in 1972 to serve as a main return and all were connected by cross-measures drifts. From 1938 to 1956 coal was hauled up number one drift at one in 3.4 gradient in tubs by an endless rope system. Top hard workings approached Tom Lane workings to the north. Kalo drifts were abandoned in 1972 as they were in poor condition. The workings in parts were exceptionally steep in excess of one in three which was caused by the Brimington anticline. The highest manpower was 994 between 1978 and 1979 and the output was 708,523 tons between 1972 and 1973. Arkwright Colliery was closed in January 1988 after 90 years of production. If you have any information, interesting stories or maps for Arkwright Colliery and surrounding collieries please leave a comment as we may be able to use the maps and information in future videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.